So everyone coming out, I very much appreciate it. And I uh, consider myself honored, immensely blessed to have uh, friends and family and supporters uh, that have been helpful in my campaign, and uh, especially for this little one right here. <laughs> um, if you haven't heard, she's been running around, around upstairs. But anyway, uh, I, I feel in the same vein of being uh, blessed, having uh, people like the lieutenant governor that will come and uh, both help my campaign and stand beside me and we'll work together in the next session. And, uh, you know, he's a, a real good uh, campaign and ambassador for Oklahoma in the sense that both during the campaign when he was running for lieutenant governor, pledged to tour uh, all 77 counties, did it, and then also he's done it since then as a uh, lieutenant governor. And then, you want me to hold you? <laughs> Uh, uh, just recently, if you haven't been uh, paying attention to the news, he's been, I, I know I say this, I'm going to mess it up, but the, uh, the Lieutenant Governor's Association is going to be in town next year, and it, it was due to his due diligence to invite them and have them here in Oklahoma to show them how we've been doing things right. And also, in that same vein, when they're here, he's going to be the uh, president or the uh, leader of that association. Come here. Uh, so that's another thing that, uh, that is, bodes well for Oklahoma, to show that we can get things done, that we can do things right. We do it, you know, govern responsibly, conservatively. And so uh, without further ado, I just want to uh, welcome Lieutenant Governor Lamb. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Uh, you know, I'm happy to be here, 90% of it, you know, 10% of me. I'm still upset at Kyle for not having an opponent. Uh, not that I want an opponent, but, but actually he, he earned his stripes because he's been through a campaign, many campaigns throughout your life, managing successfully on the congressional level, state senate candidate, and there's another one of his ill that is here, and that is Representative like John Evans. Who also have it. What is it about South Oklahoma City? You have these opponents out here. Uh, John scared everybody off, Kyle scared everybody off. And he ran off one candidate. Yeah. <laughs> one opponent. But I'm thrilled to be here for Kyle. I did an event with John uh, very recently as well. But one of the many reasons I'm excited about Kyle Loveless and his candidacy and now being uh, elected, uh, the senator elect for this district, is he's going to hit the ground running at the state capitol. Uh, Kyle doesn't need a map of the state capitol, how to get around. He knows where the bathroom is, so to speak. Uh, he knows everything about the capitol. He's, he's been in the trenches for a long time. And what Kyle brings to the table, I think that's why we're all here. Uh, he's a man of faith, a man of principle, a man of conviction. He's politically astute. You have to be about policy when you get elected, but you can't work on a policy unless you're good at politics, which he is. But he's a man that's driven by policy, and he's a small business guy. Uh, he knows what it is to be in the trenches in small business. Over 97% of Oklahoma is employed by small business. Loveless and the family and their operation, and Kyle is part of that equation that is churning this economy in Oklahoma, which, by the way, uh, top three in the nation in job growth in the last year, number one in the nation in manufacturing job growth at 6.6% growth right here in Oklahoma. And Kyle and his family and his company has been part of that success that I can brag on, the governor can brag on, again, as we travel outside of Oklahoma. So, Kyle, thanks for running. Thanks for letting him run. <laughs> uh, wow, you're welcome. Uh, and, and the fact that I don't know how many hours you guys worked on that kiss earlier, but the way you planned <laughs> I, got, I got a little teary-eyed. I had brownies in my pocket. And the fact that you only got to make this good. point, you know, why come to a fundraiser? It's over, right? Well, everything that, that Kyle did so far was not free. Uh, the bumper stickers he printed, they were not free. Yard signs, they were not free. He prepared for this race. He had a opponent for a while, and he still has expenses. So the fact that you would still show up and help and support financially uh, is very, very important. I mean, it, it's, it's such a situation that he pawned all of his furniture. <laughs> so, uh, help him uh, get that back and, uh, out of pocket. Uh, that'd be great to help Kyle out in that step. So, I'll, I'll turn it back over to Kyle, but I want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, it's a pleasure to serve you as Oklahoma 16th Lieutenant Governor. I'm looking forward to working with John in the State House, Kyle in the State Senate, 
and working together with the small businesses represented here and those representing small businesses, a team effort to make the best thing in Texas, I-35 North. So God bless you, thanks for coming, and go Kyle Lovell.